Hello, I'm John Joe. Welcome to Lion War. Today we have a battle between Team M270 versus Team Strikers. Who Team Strikers are starting up here. We've got Al Mahican over on this section. Notorious Nubs just here. And we have just on the right uh, left here, we've got just an addict and archer starting right next to each other. So both of those players look like they're gonna go straight for Romad. Uh, not Romad. Notorious Nubs and Notorious is has already recognized the enemies there, probably noticing both people, and he's retreating his units all the way to here, probably just to regroup and have a stronger force up front. And on the other side, we have Al Mahican who sends one group of units to capture the territory. You always need to have some units going that way, and he notices the threat here. I think he's sending them on arrow commands, and he's got some tanks on haste mode to try and get there to defend nubs over here down from their perspective they are both going into tanks no i got artillery here tanks from just an addict and a helipad he's going to be trying to get in some air units potentially take out the structures they will be in range both teams here actually have an energy well available to them each so this is actually a coordinated thing they planned this before it happened this is also the bracketed round for the team's tournament and they're setting up some defenses just over here. And Al Mahican, up in the north, has this energy. Well, they must have captured that territory as they were doing the picking phase. But he's got some units down here now. And they are going to be able to try and present a bit of a threat towards Justin Addict. But I have noticed that Justin Addict has set up his infantry all along this section here. Which is going to allow his tanks to try and sneak him through the top here and get into the structures. As the artillery come through, and we do have tanks coming in. So Archer and Justin Addict are going for tanks. It looks like Justin Addict's out of eco though. No, he's, he's turned off the war factory, uh, the, the factories here. And the tanks are coming in, and Al Mahican's tanks are on haste mode, so they're moving a bit faster, and they're actually going to cut off Justin Addict's tanks over here. And he's sending them in right on top of this line here. Archer's getting his infantry to be on the front line, but they're also moving around to try and take, get around these groups here to take out the units. Looks like they are capturing the territory as they go. And we've got a defensive line on the mountains here, which is a great position, but these artillery are going to be able to take out those if they don't move. So the infantry are coming down to try and get on top of those artillery. Justin Alex tanks have had to retreat from these guys, so they're moving back. And they can't go over this section, they'll move extremely slow on the tanks to catch up to them. So they've moved them across this section here. There's less mountain terrain there. Just on this section, we do have a bit of a fight with infantry as Al Mahican tries to find an opening. Instead of trying to protect nubs, he's trying to distract the enemy to force their units the other way instead, as the tanks are there to try and protect him. Archer's predicting some air units from Al Mahican, and he's got some set up there, but it doesn't look like he's going for that. He's going straight into tanks and keeping to that. But now we have both teams with tanks totaling five at this point, and some helicopters moving in, which is going to take on those tanks. We have a total of five tanks from Al Mahican alone, to be fair, so they're doing a good job keeping up, but these helicopters have absolutely nothing to fight them back. So these are going to literally take on these tanks pretty much on their own so these tanks are going to have to find their value very quickly both of team M270's tanks are moving to the right hand side trying to get into this gap here as Al Mahican's tanks has to move in this way but they found an opening I think and they're going to try and move in on this section we've got enough infantry here to potentially take on this section but it's the artillery behind the infantry there that are probably going to stop this attack or at least slow it down enough, but these tanks are getting in while they can. The helicopters can only do so much damage. They are very good at taking on tanks, but those tanks do get the barracks taken out just at the right time. And Archer's tanks have been forced to retreat against this line over the mountains. And they are deciding to capture with these tanks as well, which is good because the territories will be taken really fast. 
and the helicopters are being used purely for defense at this point and that's actually a really good use for them if you wanted to go on the offensive with their units it'd be strikers which i don't even know would reach that far maybe if you've got a circle command here but i can't really remember the ranges that well tanks are moving in on this side trying to go around the defenses that are being set up but they are going to be moving straight towards these tanks uh, these artillery here as well but we've got tanks moving in from either side literally right through another line of tanks but they're getting attacked by the artillery as well we've got some tanks actually finding their way into the base and they're setting up a strike plan to try and get in there as quick as they can and the infantry are closing in on top of them and with infantry being quite small and being able to get around them they can actually fire and take out tanks pretty quickly just because of the sheer ability to outnumber them over on this side though it looks like Justin Maddox is losing some of these units to these the infantry push that came through and another tank is coming down this way but the helicopters will probably be alright to take that out but he's, he's actually changing direction because of that and they managed to take out a few structures and Nubs is pushing his way backwards which has been noticed by uh, uh, Justin Addict who is moving a tank in to try and take out these vulnerable structures over here but now Justin Addict has a fairly sizable group of artillery over here and he's going to try and push forward with those over on this side that one tank is getting their damage in but it's going to get jumped on by these this group of units here and i don't think it's going to be able to survive long enough to take out that structure but getting it damaged maybe for a later attack isn't too bad of an idea either nubs did lose this uh, territory where it was infantry that was here and this group of units going to capture these territories over here now and yeah the structure does survive over there another group of tanks sneaking their way through this little section straight between the little hilly areas they are going to come into contact with quite a bit of resistance here there isn't too much they can really get out of this now they can't even retreat which is unfortunate but they're trying to take out this energy well if they took out the energy well then the tanks of archer would actually pretty much just stop i don't think they have any other energy anywhere else on the map no it doesn't look like it we can actually just press that we've gone on archer he's got 30 energy that is the storage of an energy while so no he only has that down here now we've got some tanks coming in taking on some helicopters that have just landed no they're going to retreat but the helicopters are going to chase them now with more tanks coming in it looks like al Mahican is going for the eco play he's going for a bit of long-term gameplay he also has two energy wells so he could end up with a tank advantage if he could just get some sams out on the field don't think any units managed to actually escape that area no they are still confined though in my opinion i think if nubs and al Mahican are able to hold on they'd be able to take over this territory here and get this a lot of eco on this side of the map even a trade route and two cities the tanks are moving into the right hand side with nubs setting up a base here and then trying to retreat because they didn't think they could hold this area it does mean he's a bit more vulnerable because he's got his base a bit more spread out meaning he has to cover a lot more area surface area to be able to defend it the helicopters are just clearing up any pathways here. We've got some tanks running in straight into this line of defense there. That's not fortified, but it is sort of there defending. And these tanks are just on the way, moving towards this section, trying to get out that factory. But I think they've changed their mind. They're going somewhere else. Yellow's got a group of artillery here, but unfortunately these tanks decided to come over the mountainy area. Which means they're going to slow down, giving this one, at least it's one artillery, extra time to damage these tanks. But I don't think there's enough artillery there to take on those tanks. A couple of tanks did try and go into this, I think. And one has decided to try and escape. But he actually does manage it, I think. He's going to actually escape that way. And this is happening because he wants to claim some territory over here. And maybe push in the other direction. They have a little proxy base in there. But without the tanks, it doesn't matter too much. They've got enough artillery in this section to put a push over this hill. And 
some tanks are going to roll in from behind and that would do a significant job of trying to call that army. Did that tank survive? It has and he's going to make it all the way over to this section. So we could see something coming out of that one tank getting away there as well. So addicts, helicopters are coming in to try and defend these artillery groups. And it looks like the tanks have actually already pretty much lost that section there. They're trying to come in from behind to take out this group that's attacking. But the helicopters are even coming in to try and stop these tanks as well. We've got some uh, SAM units coming in to try and stop the helis. But they just arrive a bit too late to take them all out. And now this one tank's trying to go for this energy well once again. It is always good to try these opportunities that come up. You can't take out this section, so go for another one if you can find it. And it looks like he's going a bit further south. Maybe potentially just trying to get the other energy well instead, because he knows this one's a bit more contested. Over in this section, I didn't see that, but another group of tanks must have come up through here to take out this barracks. And as you can see, this tank's now going on the run to try and capture some territories down here, going straight towards this energy well. And another tank looks like he's going to join him. Over here, the artillery army has thinned out quite a bit. And there is a significant force coming in to try and take them out. So I don't think that force there is going to be the end game here, but the counter push might be. So they're still capturing territory over there. I would like to check on that and keep an, up, keep an eye on it and see what's going on there. I'll have a quick look at the economy as we're here right now. So we'll go for Al Mahican first as he's on the top of the list. He's got 609 who is over in this section. Red team has 364 and that's pretty much because they've been on the defense throughout the entire game. Still trying to expand not far from their original location. Archer Yellow is on 494, and just an addict who's like blue is on 480, so Al Mahican's definitely ahead in the economy. And is also building up a bit of a force over here to potentially take on this army. This little defense here, but it is full of artillery, so it's going to be quite difficult to take them out. But they've got commandos, so they're hoping that they won't actually need to take out that army at defense. Another group of tanks coming in right behind this force here. And these guys are going to be distracted taking on these, so they're not even going to be able to retreat so easily. Just try and fight these tanks. So I think this factory here is actually going to go down. And as you can see, the commander is not going straight forward to go into this fight. They're going around the battle. Trying to sneak in, take out anything they can. I think they're going to go for the energy, just like these tanks are. The factory over here does go down. got another barracks going up in the back over here and Al Mahican has been trying to sort out some extra eco they've got some industry on the way albeit constructed now they only really need to get one more I think I can't see an extra one to be able to start building that city over here the helicopters are coming in to take on these tanks that are running right running right around the pace I think they will get away, but another one's going to go down. I could be wrong, that one might end up going down. I think the heli just ran out of ammo. And these tanks over here are doing a really good job at harassing nubs over there. But they are also going to retreat down over here to try and capture some territory. And over here, it looks like these artillery took on pretty much what was over on the forces here and this group of artillery and the tanks took on the commandos that came in from that section but now it's not going to be infantry that takes on these artillery it's going to be the tanks but then they meet some other tanks they're not sure if they were to engage that but there's two versus three so the odds are in blue's favor on the tank battle there Some of Red's SAM units are a bit out of place here, but they're sending in helicopters against them. The artillery is just here. They could have took them out with the artillery instead.
But to be fair, there is quite a few helicopters here, so the plan is to not let the SAM units build up in numbers. If the enemy's army can protect them, then they'll have the SAM at the background being able to take on the helicopters. So they're trying to take them out as fast as they can. That's what they're doing there. Making sure those SAMs don't build up so that you can actually use these helicopters for a long-term part of this game. We've got commandos and transport jets coming out now. So they'll be able to fly across and take out certain structures, dropping in directly on top of them. That's if they survive long enough. There's a group of infantry that have an opening just here, potentially. But they are going to focus down on the forces over here instead, with the tanks as well. Going to be quite a significant push there. The helicopters will be able to respond to the tanks here. But with the SAM just at the back there, they're going to take some losses. Nubs is over here trying to take the cap, uh, territory over that Archer has claimed. And he's also building up some barracks here to push from the other side. Which is going to create another front for Nubs to have to deal with. On the other side of it, Red has left their base exposed. And the tanks are going in to exploit that right now. The artillery are moving back into the position to try and take them out. And almahican has got their tanks coming in to try and help the defense there but is also trying to go on the push on this side the sams are quite in a dangerous spot right now but they were trying to get those helicopters as they flew off and that was quite a good positioning but they've gone off to the other side yellow does take out one of the factories over here or the barracks i'm not sure what that one was and they're going to go for the other barracks while they're being chased down by these tanks have a quick look around just an addict is also going for some eco and so is archer at this point so they're getting up their structures to build up their eco and i would like to see how the battle's going out now for eco almahican is on 661 nerves is on 446 so he's trying to catch up really well and he's doing a good job there considering the attacks he's had archer's on 619 and just an addict is on 615. So Almy Heakin hasn't grown as much as he potentially could have at this point. Being quite similar, but he is doing stuff. He's got a docks coming in, which would change it. And I've called him just before he's finished that. So it's a little unfair, I suppose. <laughs> and it looks like Almy Heakin's got quite a sizable group of tanks here. Another, another group of five. And they're going to be ignoring the army by the looks of it. They're building up their numbers here first. And they might be moving down towards this location. But I think Archer has spotted that move. And he's got a group of units here to protect this energy well. And the helicopters are moving in as well, just in case. Now that we have the barracks over here, they're building commandos. Not, or producing commandos. Not infantry. But the commandos are stealthed and they're going to be invisible. So they're being attacked from the right hand side by an invisible army. The infantry are trying to come in through the side here as we've got the line of units here. Attacking from the front is not a good idea. They're trying to come in through the side as best they can. And Addict has decided to try and move his units into a better position to take on that army there. The helicopter's clearing up the tanks in this section. But more tanks are moving in. These group of infantry are getting dangerously close. There's quite a few commandos here. I don't know if Almahican can see this airfield because it is in the mountains, so it's stout. But it might be wise, potentially, to target this with the commandos and have the infantry as a distraction. Light Blue's got their helicopters going around this side to try and protect Archer's base over here from the infantry that's been moving in. But we do have four production of infantry units against one pretty much in this section. The tanks are moving in towards the base again, joining with some tanks that are already attacking there. And the transport jet just went over this way. So where did they land? There we go. We've got a commander right at the back of the base. But they are going to get shut down there. One guy's already been killed, one of the commandos, I think that's this one. 
And the other one's going to get taken out now, so they're not going to be doing too much sneaky behind the base. And just an addict has been able to defend their location pretty well. Having the lake here has been pretty good to try and force the units into a cramped spot there. The tanks have cleared up pretty much most of the front army here of Nubs. Left only to defend is three tanks from Al Mahican, but followed up from Archer's three tanks is a fairly sizable artillery force in comparison to what's defending here. And we've got some blue helicopters in range to come over this way, or teal helicopters. Commanders on the right hand side of the map pretty much cleared up whatever was left of Nubs' army over on that side. They're going to be able to push through here, taking out the economy and this last production structure. So it's literally Nubs being back at his original location. And just an addict is now pushing Al Mahican back. As Al Mahican tries to draw in some tanks from this side. Kind of come in at the side as the infantry attack and distract at the front while the tanks do their damage. But as the reinforcements have been coming in, it looks like they've stopped up and grouped a bit. These tanks are going to struggle taking out these artillery. Al Mahican's going for a different approach. He's getting some infantry to go around the side. But he's actually meeting up with just an addict's expanding force himself. Who's already captured a lot of the map down here, coming back up round. We've got an airfield coming out for Archer. So he's going into air units now. I can only imagine that'll either be strikers or bombers coming out of this one. Over here the helicopters are supporting against the tanks that have taken out this artillery. The artillery did end up taking a lot of damage there. I'm taking quite a few losses and the Sam's here to protect it. Potentially stealth from this little mountain point, but I think some of them are at least not stealth there. And now Addict is just sending up a few units to take out those Sam units, or at least get them to budge out the way. Over on the right hand side, the commanders are now going straight for this barracks, leaving Archer in complete control over that right hand side, and Nubs has waved the white flag. He has given up the game, leaving Al Mahican on his own now. To face two opponents. And he is losing the fight down here to try and expand. He may be winning this little battle here, but the reinforcements were going up in a different direction. But he gives in the flag now. He doesn't want to continue that fight. I think he realizes his defeat is already up after losing his ally, as you can see on the graph. That is a big hit to their team. Anyway. Thank you for watching. There are two videos on screen right now. Feel free to click on one and I'll see you there.